President Trump has set off an international guessing game with a few ominous words. Today, he wasn't giving any clues. Margaret Brennan is at the White House. What did you mean by calm before the storm yesterday? What did you mean by that? You'll find out. At a dinner last night with top military leaders and their spouses, the president made this cryptic comment. Do you guys know what this represents? Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm, the calm before the storm. The ominous remark comes amid rising tension with North Korea and next week's announcement of the president's Iran strategy. He is expected to take steps that could unravel the agreement to freeze Iran's nuclear program, also known as the JCPOA. The action would be in defiance of top national security advisors like Defense Secretary Jim Mattis. Do you believe it's in our national security interest at the present time to remain in the JCPOA? Yes, Senator, I do. The Iran decision is also a flashpoint with Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. After a report surfaced that he had referred to Mr. Trump as a moron, Tillerson called an extraordinary press conference to declare he was not quitting. I have never considered leaving this post. The White House said today there would be no firings. Can you continue to say the president remains confident in him as secretary of state? He does. As for just what the coming storm may be, White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders refused to clarify. I wouldn't say that he's messing with the press. I think we have some serious uh, world issues here. Another busy day at the White House and Margaret Brennan's with us now. Margaret, the administration changed the Obamacare rules today related to birth control. What did it do? Well, Obamacare requires that employer-provided health insurance cover birth control with a few exceptions. Today, the Trump administration changed those guidelines and will allow employers and insurers to opt out of that mandate based on their own religious and moral convictions. The rule change fulfills a campaign promise by President Trump, and the administration estimates that 120,000 women may lose access to free contraceptives because of it. But some women's rights Rights organizations say that number is actually far higher and warn that this could lead to a jump in unintended pregnancies. Anthony? Margaret Brennan at the White House.